And Lindsay down here at Disney Springs in Orlando, Florida. We decided to come out here because we wanted to check out the Christmas tree trail. We've come here a couple nights in a row trying to get in there and it's been pretty crowded, so we're gonna, we're gonna try it tonight. Then we're gonna kinda walk around and see what other Christmas decorations and merchandise they have up here. If this is your first time visiting our channel, we'd like to welcome you. And if you like our videos, please consider subscribing. Also, leave us a comment down below because we'd like to get to know you. Here we go, Christmas tree trail. And it looks like this might be rough to get through. It's quite a crowd going in. Well, here's the first tree. Pretty impressive. A little monorail Disney World tree. Looking at these trees is going to prove to be quite the challenge. As you can see all the people here. I think I like this one better than the first one we saw. Yeah, definitely like it better. Oh, look, Lindsay, it's your favorite show. Beauty and the Beast. Complete with a rose and everything in there. Sleeping Beauty. Whew. All right, I got a confession. When I saw the bubble machines years ago at the Transworld Haunted Attraction show, I thought it was the stupidest thing I'd ever seen and no haunted house owner would ever want one because it was making the floor all slippery. It would be fair to me, this is a lot less foam that was coming out uh, on the original ones I saw all those years ago. So I think there's a lot less chance you're gonna slip on this stuff. Princess and the Frog, I haven't seen that show. Have you? Yeah. Aladdin. Now this is probably my favorite Disney movie, I think. We've probably made a mistake coming out on this particular night to see this though, because this is definitely not the best way to enjoy this. The Little Mermaid, another one of your favorites on huh, here. Complete with her bibbles and bobbles or whatever they are on there. Oh, all right. Well, hey, I was close. I like this one. I'm not sure why there's not more people here trying to get pictures of it. Here we go, Haunted Mansion. Quite a tree. Good old Pinocchio. The best advice I can give you if you want to see this trail is come during the week and do not come when it's dark. Otherwise, you're gonna see like half the trees. Good old Dumbo. They're all good old something. Which one's this here? Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Do we have Robin Hood? Uh, I don't think we do. Peter Pan. I'm kind of just taking whatever angle I can get on these. Here you go, that's the best tree topper ever. Thank goodness we are out. That was a very interesting experience. It was awesome as far as all the trees, but it was too crowded and people were not really working with one another to get pictures and stand in front of the trees at all. Like makeshift lines were kind of like starting to form and people didn't care. They are just jumping ahead, pushing through. You could ha be, have your camera up getting ready to take the photo and people would squeeze underneath you and stand up in front of you. Well, here's a fun little photo op that we don't have to stand in a crowd to do. Pretty cool. So sadly, I don't think I saw a Nightmare Before Christmas tree in there. I mean, we possibly could have missed it. It was quite a huge crowd and it was super hard to get up to a lot of the trees, but I don't think I saw one. I didn't either, but I'm hoping we just missed it because it doesn't really make much sense that they wouldn't have one of those in there. But don't get me wrong, it was awesome in there. I'm just saying it was way too crowded for tonight. And really, we tried a couple nights and it was like that, so we kind of had to just go for it tonight. Do it during the week or something. Don't do not come on over again. It wasn't worth it. It's so pretty. Giant tree. It's huge. Like, look at it. It's bigger than the building. Well, we found some giant color changing Christmas ornaments just in here amongst the foliage. Look at that. I really like these. These are pretty cool. This batch in here is just a bunch of party poopers. They don't want nothing to do with lighting up. And over here they have some of the party poopers in amongst some of the more extroverted Christmas ornaments. Aw, oh, they're so pretty. I don't like real deer though, they like to run into my car. Some more deer. This one's really pretty and big. Very cool. Aw, oh, they got presents out here. And another really big tree. Really big. 
Peanut mousses. Uh, two of them have like pasta hair bows. <laughs> At least I'm fairly certain it's supposed to be a peanut, because look, it's got like, I don't know, what, walnut shell thighs? <laughs> it's uh, fairly creative. Who would have ever thought other than, well, I guess Disney, to make mooses out of peanuts? It would appear the little peanut mooses continue here. Look at this. Got some up in the garland. <laughs> what is... The theme this year. Yeah, I guess. I'm not quite sure. It seems like an odd thing to fashion an animal out of. Hey, we can't go to Disney Springs without heading into the world of Disney for a quick look around. It's pretty awesome looking, I don't know what it is. I'm not sure what you would describe that as. This giant snowman Slurpee cup. Oh look, Lindsay, they're projecting on the wall back there. That is really cute. Oh yeah, how about that? It's probably coming from the Slurpee cup. Yes. Even Chippendale are ready for Christmas. Look at that. The scarves and everything. Are you getting me one of those? No. Of oh. Not. <laughs> They're $24.99. I was just trying to see if there was like an official name other than Slurpee Cup on there. Oh. There wasn't. I totally made that up. That is cute. I thought he was in a sleeping bag at first. But it's uh then I saw the little it's like a little stork thing. Well, I thought he was a stork baby. Oh, did you? Yeah. Um, oh. Minnie's a stork baby, too. I think. I like the toy soldier. Yeah, he's pretty adorable. Is he, does the toy soldier have a price? Not that one. <laughs> That's probably why he wasn't on the. You know what? None of them do. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, I can see over there. Nine, they're nine ninety nine. They have some really cool stuff in here. This is a blanket. We look at the wreath. And I like that wreath. Forty five dollars. I'm not sure that's worth it. Uh, yeah. I have to admit. No, I do like it though. Even though that snowman looks like it has a smile, he looks awful sad to me. He's just depressed that he's trapped inside that glass case melting. Unless he found some Nightmare Before Christmas figures. Yeah. These look pretty cool. I really like them. Yeah, $17.99 is all those guys are. That's not yeah. bad. No. It's feeling very festive in here. Beautiful decorations all over the store. Look at this. I walked over just a few feet and now I'm looking at all this beautiful decoration. How much do you think a bag of warm hugs is? Yikes. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> it was 90. Oh, that's the same yeah. as the Mickey bag. If, yeah, that's like, if somebody buys that for you, you better give them a lot of warm hugs. <laughs> do you want to build a snowman? I do not. That is why I came to get away from all the snow. I don't like the snow. Yep, I agree. There's no place like Walt Disney World. Ooh, sneak peek. You think Donald's mad? Because Luffy can't figure out how to plug it in? <laughs> or because he yanked it out on him? <laughs> uh, I think the lights is enough to frustrate anybody. <laughs> One of our other favorite places to go is this Disney co-op store. It's always super cool in here. And they're all decorated too. Found a nice ornament. I see that. How much are you willing to spend? Uh, zero <laughs> is what I'm willing to spend. <laughs> well, we'll put it back then. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> but Jared, they're so cute. I can have a wooden tree like this. I mean, they're cute right there and that's where they're gonna stay cute. Oh, Lindsay, looks like they closed down your little pantry store you liked. I wonder what it's going to be. I hope they'll be open tomorrow. I don't know. Nothing new's coming tomorrow. This is like the only time this place is not crowded. <laughs> right before it's closed. They filled all these little islands over here in front of the Disney Marketplace with poinsettias. Look at that. Very nice. Are these little lights always here? I don't remember. They haven't stood out before to me. 
I hate it when I see something like this and I can't remember whether or not it's always been here or if it's new. Or not new, but you know, just out for the holidays. Oh man, I really don't know. There's some more cool looking stuff they've got strung overhead. It is really clearing out now here. It always looks really good out here in Disney Springs, but I'm especially digging it right now with all the Christmas stuff out. Look at the giant poinsettia chandeliers. I guess that's how you would describe them. It's an awful fancy deer over there, isn't it? Yeah. Eating the uh, poinsettias. <laughs> this one got spooked while eating the poinsettias. Heard a noise from behind. I think it's very often you see somebody all bundled up in it this cold in Florida, or this early anyway. It seems, a, it seems unusually cold for this time of year, but I don't know, whatever. But we had a pretty good day here at Disney Springs. We got to see some Christmas trees, some decorations, some cute merch. I had a really good time, as always. What about you? I always have fun shopping here. Yes. Which is all you got to do. I'm going to change that next time. Sure. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching.